All right, so um, this is kind of, this is my money grind thing that I do in GTA Online. Uh, and I'm just kind of demonstrating here you you do not have to uh, you do not have to do a whole hell of a lot on this. Let's say you're starting for absolutely nothing. I'm going to begin with uh, I'm going to begin with choosing my character because I'm going to be working with the secondary character. And I tend to make the same secondary character pretty much all the time. I just do this over and over and over again. So as you can see, here is here's my main character, C. Darklock. That is a 40 rank character, rank 40. And uh, then over here, we've got uh, Crystal. And Crystal is just level 6. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to delete Crystal. And I'm going to have to type delete to confirm. And she's going to get deleted. Once she's deleted, a new character is going to walk out. And once that new character walks out, I'm going to switch over to him. There I am, level 40. And over here is this new guy. I'm going to edit that character. And all I'm going to do is, uh, is set up this character, and I'm going to take him in. I'm not going to copy the rank. I'm going to start this guy out at rank 1. And I'm going to make it a girl, obviously. I, I think it's very important when you play Grand Theft Auto Online that you uh, that you create a male character and a female character. So let's uh, let's begin over here with uh, Hannah. I think yeah, there's Hannah. And who's the other guy that I use? Um, I can't remember his name. And John, was it John? Yeah, it was John. Hannah and John. And it doesn't matter because I yank everything over to uh, I yank everything over to the left. So she's entirely influenced by her mother. And I'm gonna return to menu and I'm going to leave the features right where they are. I'm gonna jump into appearance and I'm going to give her a pigtails because I like pigtails and I'm gonna make her a redhead because I like redheads and like most guys making a female character uh, I, I'm making the girl that I want to date because that's that's what I'm looking for if I'm gonna be staring at a third-person character then I want to stare at somebody I think is good-looking I'm going to go with carefree eyebrows. There we go. Skin blemishes none, aging none, complexion none, moles and freckles, skin damage, eye color I set to emerald all the time. Eye makeup, I do the bubblegum thing. And I set the opacity to 100%, so it's really fucking outrageous. Blusher, I set to straight. Where's straight? Horizontal, that's the one that I mean. So that's horizontal. Again, the opacity gets set up to around 75%. And I put the color at 2 of 27. Lipstick, heavy lined gloss. Uh, opacity is up to a full 100%. And then the uh, color, I just kind of back up to... Uh, there we go. 26 is the one that I use. So there we go. Okay, there's my character. I make this character over and over again. Uh, apparel, I come down to style, and I go party, and she's going to be the bubblegum. I make this character over and over and over again because I like this character. And then in stats, I just go through and I set everything to about one. It doesn't matter. You can leave this. You don't have to do anything. And then uh, save and continue. Enter the character's name. And it's Crystal. It's always Crystal. So there she is. There's Crystal. And as you can see, that only took about five minutes. And I had to explain everything. If I didn't explain everything, i just breeze right through it. Also, you don't have to do any of that. All that shit I just did, you don't have to do it. Skip the tutorial. You don't need the tutorial. 
And then here we are right at the beginning. Now, let's say that even though you're a brand new character, you happen to have the Criminal Enterprise Starter Pack and, uh, and having the Criminal Enterprise Starter Pack gives you an option. And that option is you can use the, uh, you can pull up the Elitist Travel Site and you can sort by price and you can get a free helicopter. And that free helicopter, if you've got anything at all in your other character's bank account, you can use $200 of that to get your helicopter delivered to a nearby airfield. You make one trip to an airfield. But we are not going to do that. Uh, in fact, we are going to flip up here to the pistol and not use the stone hatchet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by running out here in the street, and we're going to grab a car. I'm going to take this one. This parked car right here, this, uh, this little sedan. What was that? Hey, buddy! Shit. Yeah, I'm not interested in stealing anybody's product. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna come up here, and you can see we've got up north of the city. There's this little circular area right here, and we're gonna zoom in on that, and where we wanna go is right there. So now we're just gonna follow the GPS. We're gonna check the time here. <laughs> Why you gotta put my friends list there? Okay, it's half past midnight. It's 12.33.02. We're gonna come up here and get clue number one. Now, as I mentioned, there are a total of uh, nine places that you might need to check. You will definitely need to go to five of them. You may need to go to all nine. But this really does not take all that long, and it is not all that difficult. Just gonna head on over here. And once we actually get to where we are going, once we actually get to where we are going, we are going to you know, it seems like every time I run into a car I kill the driver. time you pick up a clue, you're going to get $5,000. Now, on the wiki, it says that you'll get $5,000 in hand and $5,000 in your bank account. I've never seen that happen. Maybe it happens the first time you ever do this. Uh, but I personally pretty much just get the straight $5,000 in hand at the time this happens. So here we are right now. We are pulling up to the farm now, and you can see that right here... Got this barn. And you can hear these creepy noises. So if you walk up to where the creepy noises are coming from, you find a clue. Can you find me? Why sure as hell what's up? There we go. I just got a five thousand dollars. Oh, I got two thousand dollars for being a good boy. Nice. All right, that's one clue. Now, we're going to go from there, and we're going to say, okay, we're going to come over to this area. What is that? That's a time trial. We're going to come over here. You see this little bit right here up north of the airstrip? That's where we want to go right here. So we're going to duck on out of here. It's only about a mile and three quarters. It's less than two miles. So we are going to duck on over there. Now, 
I'm doing this in a public lobby. Nobody gives a shit. Nobody ever gives a shit. And as you can see, I get 2,000 reputation points every single time. Oops. country and do shit like this. I do this all the time. I like driving cross country. Creepy noises again. Jump on out, run up to the creepy wall, climb over it, and it's the right spot. It's not the right spot. There we go. And here there is a separate hand. Oh no, man. Somebody got their hand chopped off. Definitely not Luke Skywalker, because this is a left hand. Now, we're going to duck around up here. And you can see up here in this area, north of the airstrip, Nobody is fucking with me. You can do this in a solo session if you want, but uh, I don't. I don't give a shit. I just do them in public. I do them in public all the time. Never have a problem because you're in the middle of fucking nowhere. Nobody hangs around in Blaine County. Blaine County gets zero love from griefers and hackers and modders and fuckers like that. Nobody cares. Nobody comes up here. Nobody will mess with you. It just doesn't fucking happen. This is not where the action is. I love running over bikers. I don't know what it is. That's just one of my favorite things in GTA is running over bikers. I think it's hilarious. Headhunter, protect the targets. I don't care. As a general rule, whenever somebody is trying to do a CEO mission or something in GTA Online, I just leave them the fuck alone. I mean, seriously. It's not like the rewards are worth it anyway. And you can see up here, up here north of all of this shit, you see on the other side of these little green thingies, there's a wooden barn. This wooden barn up by the door, ooh, creepy noises. Because there's a bloody machete hanging out of it. The clue is obstructed by a vehicle. No, it's not. Who's all the way over there? There we go. Still obstructed by a vehicle? How? How is it obstructed? God, you people are fucking retarded. Now, clue number four. 
This one I find difficult to locate on the map. Um, I think this is it right here. Yeah, that's it. Polito Forest. Okay. And you see, this one is a substantial drive. It's three and a half miles. But that's okay. It's not going to take all that long. with people's CEO missions are really like they're garbage. You know, you don't get that much money for it. You don't get that much reputation for it. There are other better things you can do with your time. There are other missions that are more fun. There are other activities that get you more stuff. And it's just why fuck with somebody else's good time. You know? Just leave people the fuck alone. It's not that big a deal. If somebody fucks with you, sure, maybe fuck with them back. But I don't even bother with that, because what is the fucking point? I got shit to do. If you insistently fuck with me, I'll just change sessions and go somewhere else. Now, here's something that I have never actually checked, and I'm going, I'm going to check this uh, in a moment here. Huh, here's a... Uh, Here's the question. Uh, number one, uh, if I duck out of this after collecting clue number four and locating clue number five, is clue number five still in the same place on the next? You know what? I won't check that here. I want to see how long this takes using just a car. Usually I use a helicopter and it takes a total of about 20 minutes. But uh, I want to see how long it takes in a car. Take it so far. Just, yeah. yeah, it's gonna take it's gonna take about 20 minutes. It's basically the same 20 minutes. Just doesn't take that long. It really doesn't. steal anybody's shit, leave me alone. Why would I want to steal anybody's shit? They fine. Leave people alone. Let them play their fucking game. to identify the location of the next clue. It might be here. There's no way to know where the next clue is, so there are a couple of places that you need to look. The first one is over here. The second one is by the military base. Uh, what I'm gonna do here is, I'm still using the car. Typically I use a helicopter. The helicopter doesn't take long to take care of this, but Guardrail. 
Fucking hell, it's here. It is here, the first goddamn place we check. So on this side or the other side? Yep, there it is. There we go! Can we come up here? Investigate the clue. Exit. I'm going to take a quick look at the map. I'm going to show you the other places it could be. Um, over here, next to the uh, next to the military base, it could be on an island in this area that only has one tree on it. And it can be over here that the uh, at the Palmer Taylor Power Station. There is a single tank off to the side. It can be behind that tank. Come up north a bit. There's a uh, there's a U-Tool store up here, and just past it, there's a double overpass. It can be in this area right here under the overpass, or the fifth location it can be is up here. There's a uh, there's a tunnel that goes through the mountain right here, and on the other side of that. There's, uh, on the other side of that tunnel, where exactly is that tunnel? I think it's, uh, right here, I think. But on the other side of that tunnel, there's a little bridge, and that little bridge, it's parked by the end of that next to the railroad tracks. So those are the other places it can be. Those are the other places that you need to check. Anyway, we fucking found it. I cannot fucking believe we found it. And now, you just need to go someplace. You can see, I'm sick of you sticking your nose where it doesn't belong, says the, uh, says the killer. Now, I'm not going to lie, what happens next won't be very nice for you. Go ahead and delete that. Nobody fucking cares. And you can go wherever you want for this, but I like to go back to the airstrip. You can see it's three miles. We are going to head over here. What time is it? It is uh, after 7.15. Now, between 7 o'clock and I think 5 o'clock is when the slasher can come in. So as long as we get to the airstrip before 5 in the morning, we just have to wait till 7 p.m. Now, you can see it took, uh, yeah, it took about 20 minutes to collect those five clues. If it is early in the morning, if you have missed the five o'clock cutoff, don't bother uh, waiting around for this. Take the 25,000 and just go ahead and create a new character and jump back into online and do it again. So you get 100,000 instead of 75,000. I do that over and over again. I just alternate, you know, collect the clues. Oh, it's too early to catch the slasher. Have I got 20 minutes? I may as well do the clues again. So I just do that over and over again and grind out this 75,000. You don't have to do this in public, as I believe I've mentioned. You can do it in a solo session. You can do it in a friend session, in an invite-only session. You can do it anywhere, but... It's not a big deal. Just go ahead and do it in public. It's easy that way. Mm -hmm. 
just like a half an hour to make seventy-five thousand dollars. You do it in forty-eight minutes, really. And that's if you're not alternating back and forth between just the clues, the clues plus the slasher. Now, uh, I happen to have gone through a number of stuff and to have picked up the stone hatchet, but since I assume that you may be starting with absolutely nothing, you may only have the basic pistol, I'm going to use the basic pistol, just like you're a brand new character, just like you got nothing, just like you gone nowhere, and uh, you'll notice that you're level six, at level six, if you pull up your uh, map, well, you once I actually get to the airstrip, I'll uh, show you another option. There it is right there. The flight school is now available and marked up the map. Flight school is another good place to pick up some extra cash if you want to go and do that. And, uh, and you're up high enough in level now. Your first time through flight school when you get all golds, it makes you like close to a quarter of a million. But I don't think it's a whole quarter of a million, but it's close, okay? So uh, here I am, I got my gun. I'm just gonna hang out now. There he is. Ah, ah. Now I got the Navy revolver. I got a better gun. That simple. Now, he did hit me, and I did take a little bit of damage, it looks like, but not a big deal. And that took a total real-time 20 and a half minutes. Not a big fucking deal, okay? And you can see, you're right there. 77000 I made $75,000 in cash doing that little collection of missions. It's quick, it's simple, it's easy. You grind that 30 times, you got your Kasatka sum, okay? And you can do it in solo. You can do it in invite only. You can do it in friend missions. It's such an easy thing to do, just like deleting the character and starting over. It takes less than half an hour from beginning to end. And you don't even have to, I mean, really. You can go into online here, and you can go swap character, okay? Yeah, I want to quit this session. Go ahead and quit the session. Once you've quit the session, it'll come in and it'll say, hey, you know, you're swapping character, which character you want. You take the one you've already got, the one you've been using right there. Well, hold on. You got to put your money in the bank first. That, that's an important element of this, is that uh, once you've collected all this money, you have to put it in the bank. But uh, you don't actually have to go through the whole thing of um, you don't actually have to go through the whole thing of setting up your character's appearance and all of that. You can just jump straight into the game and not change anything. I don't know why it asks if you want to alter your character's appearance over and over again. I wonder. Uh, I wonder how long it does that. Probably up to rank ten or something. But yeah, we're uh, we're gonna jump in here and I'm gonna throw the money in the bank. But you can see, half an hour. Once it actually finds a session and logged in, there we go. Found a session, we logged in. I ain't got no place to live. I'm homeless. We go to May's bank. We're gonna go main menu, deposit. We're gonna deposit everything. You sure? Fuck yeah, I'm sure. Now we're gonna duck on out of here. So he's gonna duck out, and now, now we can go. Swap character. Yep. Quit the session. Automatically saved. And when we go to swap character, you don't actually have to do all of that stuff. You can just take the default character as it comes. Okay. It's that simple. It's that easy. So um, that's my grind mechanism for, uh, for GTA Online. Let's go X, A, 
delete, gets deleted from online, and then we get random jackass. Now you can just go ahead and pick random jackass. Press A to start editing, and there he is. You're done. It doesn't matter what your character looks like. It doesn't matter how your character works. Do you want to copy the rank? You can copy it. You can not copy it. It's up to you either way. And uh, I'm going to check some stuff with this guy, but uh, I'm not going to make you sit and watch. I'm just going to uh, I'm going to confirm some stuff, and I'll let you know in the description and maybe in a sticky comment. So, uh, hey, thanks for fucking watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, whatever. Not really a GTA channel, more of a uh, game development and art channel. Uh, I, I draw anime titties. I'm not good at it. I kind of suck, but there it is.